Shadow with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. Jason's super worried about his makeup right now. Yeah, I just found out that we actually taped this in high def, and now I'm very concerned. You know, We've been doing this over a year, <laughs> filming, and I just realized that we do this in high def. Uh, well, you're worried about your makeup. I'm worried that I look fat, so whatever. It is what it is. Don't mind the lines. <laughs> All right, Halloween this Monday. Of course, right. everybody's going to be celebrating uh, over Friday, the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Yes. So, we've got you. We've got you set here. We got beer. We got spirits. We got some really cool stuff for Halloween. Of course, come to any of your Brown Derbies. We we got all your party needs. Um, but I think you want some pumpkin beer. Uh, we've done a few over the show the last month and a half. We did your favorite, Schlafly. I love it. Uh, we've done a lot more uh, others that have come in. And then we've got some new stuff. Um, so this one is Nebraska Brewing Company. Out really? Of, uh, out of Nebraska. You, really? Nebraska, but huh? They make, yeah. They make good beer, but their cans That are is awesome. so cool. Yeah. Big mouths. You see that? Yeah. That all is the, so cool. Yeah, all That's of their cans school. are absolutely old school. Uh, they go great in a koozie. You pour them um, very quickly. But, and their beer's actually... I was going to say, how's that going to work? Yeah, it's going to spill. Um, I did oh, better with did, yours. Yeah, yeah, did pretty so, well. This is their pumpkin beer called Wick for Brains, which I think... Is an insinu insinuation of something else. Remember, like back in the day, when you just had to basically pour a bunch of booze in a cooler and throw some little plastic skeletons in it. Like now, that's oh no, that's so past. Yeah, so that's I mean, that's so old. That's school. so old school now. We actually drink. Now you just go and buy all these yeah. themed cans. And, and Halloween you're good to go. is just. I mean, I remember I've been here six years now. I remember six years ago there were. Have like, you only been here six years? Yeah, only six years. I feel like you've worked here since you were like sixteen. <laughs> I've been shopping here, maybe as long, but um, I, there was probably like three pumpkin beers six years ago. Now there's 40. Oh my, that's really good. Uh oh, that's, sounds like sounds oh. like there could be a new favorite coming down the stretch here. Softly, let's talk about an endorsement. Unless you want me to move on, Nebraska. Nebraska's a relatively newcomer to the market. Um, they were in Missouri for a long time, but only in Kansas City, obviously with the location of Kansas City to Omaha. Um, but they've come in here in the last year to 18 months, and uh, they make good beer. Yeah, they do. And that's a great pumpkin beer. Yeah, it's really good. Not to be outdone. Breckenridge Brewery out of Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, they're going the nitro craze. So on top of all, you know, you've heard us talk about this, we could literally do four new beers every week and never duplicate beer for a year. That's how much new craft beer is coming out into every market. So, not on, not unlike flavors, uh, nitro is now the new fad. Right. So nitro beers are, um, the, why do we make nitro beers? Because they make them uh, similar to being on draft. And draft beer always tastes better than canned beer or bottled beer. Okay, weird question. Okay. Maybe not. Um, is is nitro beer similar to like the Guinness, the, the can that? Okay, which so Guinness kind of started that thing, but that's more it was always more, kind of weird. Yeah, it was relatively unknown, and basically what they were trying to duplicate was the same thing as if you poured it on draft. Right. So you'll get a creamy, smooth head. Uh, and a very easy drinking beer. You and said creamy smooth head. <laughs> I was wondering if that was, uh, <laughs> there's there. I'm sorry. I tried there, to move there, on very quickly. There audience. has to be some toilet humor here, right. otherwise this doesn't work. Shadow nailed it. <laughs> so uh, they do a nitro series every season. Uh, this is their obviously their fall season. Uh, they have a Breckenridge Vanilla Porter that they do, mm -hmm. uh, and there are several other breweries now that are coming out with nitro packages. So, if you can listen, if our producer uh, hears this, so when you open it, far more uh, entertaining and volume. He just made that producer face that when he likes it, it pour, when he likes right. the sound. When you pour it, a lot of foam, very creamy, it'll settle. Uh, just like, as you had mentioned, drinking Guinness um, on tap. So the head settles very quickly. Uh, this is a pumpkin here, spice a, latte. There's instructions on this. 
it says chill at 42 degrees. Yes. And you're supposed to wait five seconds after you open it. Oh, I only waited three. Yeah. I, you Fail. got me. Yeah. Fail. And the best, honestly, the best thing about nitro beers, and we didn't do this for the sake of the show, but uh, just because of time, but if you take them and you pour them into the glass, you can completely pour them upside down and they will not overflow from your glass. Unless, hmm. of course, you're pouring a 16 ounce can into a 12 ounce glass. Uh, but if you're pouring a 16 ounce can into a 16 ounce glass, I remember that. It'll never overflow. Remember that while drinking the Guinness. So this is their pumpkin spice latte. Um. Definitely the creaminess of it. Uh, I don't drink coffee, so it's hard for me to say I get a lot of nah. latte from no, it. No, I don't get a lot of latte from it. I mean, whatever that is. Lattes are just a, Tad usually, a, yeah, usually a little bit more sweet. So okay, so not a I lot mean, of sweetness. Still fun, and if you like coffee without a huge coffee taste, there you go. And that would be me, by the way. So next on the block, I love these bottles. Yeah, so these will sell just because of the bottle alone. Uh, these are uh, Jacko Blasts, Captain Morgan's Jacko Blasts. And uh, Captain Morgan, if everybody knows, that's rum. So, not to be uh, left alone during the Halloween uh, uh, holiday, and I imagine they'll do something different for the uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving, but they make a spiced rum cream. Okay. That's what this is. So, but it's not creamy. No, it's like Jack but Daniels. It is. It's not or Jack. Captain Morgan. It's I'm sorry. Like I sorry. I was looking at the Jack Blast. By cream, I meant sweet. I apologize. Oh, okay. The next one will actually be like a true cream. So. Okay. Mix this with this. Sounds like we've got a uh, possibility there. Will, will We're going to find we'll do will it, we'll this do it live. Uh, curdle or anything? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. That's a great question. That's why we have you. That in the toilet humor. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> I figured this was Oh, gonna, good lord, that is good. Reaction. Yeah. They nailed this packaging and inside the package. Yeah, they did. It's really good. And I am the per I am that girl. I am pumpkin spice everything. I'm the girl that people get pissed at. I give no Fs. I, I mean, I like what I like, and this is delicious. I want to have a Halloween party just to serve this to people. No, I'm not. I actually bought a shot ski just to bring that to a tailgate. What's a shot ski? A shot ski? Yeah. Uh, I cannot believe you don't know that. No, um, but I noticed that you said uh, you had one at the tailgate. Yeah. What, what is so that? A shot ski is a ski that the holes have been hollowed out on the ski for you to put shot glasses where more than one person can do a shot at a time. Um, oh. You can do three or four different shots, uh, three or four different people, and you kind of tip the ski back. Uh, I When this was created, I bought a shot ski because I knew that this was going to be at a tailgate during the fall season. That's A, awesome, B, so basically you just do it for Facebook and YouTube so somebody can video like I do it in the privacy dudes. of my own home too. Like on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon watching a football game, I'll just eh, tip a shot ski back. You know, me and <laughs> Don't the you need more people? Around, you, and, you and your wife, you're just, just like... around doing shot skis all night. So. Okay, to each their own. <laughs> That's right. So this is our best seller. Uh, this is a true pumpkin cream liqueur. I've had this one. Uh, we always do this. It only comes out for two months out of the year. We always put it on the show because it's so good. It is our best seller. Uh, we sell a ton of this. And by a ton, I mean mm -hmm. like hundreds of cases. And it is truly good it's pumpkin like, cream. It's pumpkin and fall and everything holiday in a bottle. Oh. I love it. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it is. So, here we go, America. We will, we will just dis discover this live. If it starts to curdle, I'm gonna get mad. But you know, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Or sometimes you just gotta drink it really fast before it does. Yep, I'm not going there. It's 
So basically uh, about 50-50. No, it just sits at the bottom, really. Sits there, a little uh, two-layer, like a black and tan. This yep. is a pumpkin and tan. It's not curdling. A little swish, still not curdling. Nope, this might be good. If it starts to curdle, basically when it curdles, it looks like cottage cheese. It's pretty, I mean, you'll notice it right off the bat. It's pretty gross looking. Yeah, if you were to uh, swish it in your mouth, you'll notice it curdling because Ooh. it'll become more of a solid and you'll have difficulty breathing. Yeah. Uh, because it is filling up your airwaves. But this, this actually has zero curdling and it is quite good. So. Buy this. Shadow has Buy this. just created the next Halloween drink for uh, everybody here that watches this, this YouTube video. All right. You're this is welcome, really good. Yeah. America. Thanks, Shadow. Cheers. Did you already drink yours? Yeah, it was really good. God, he shot it like a shot ski. Yeah. I'm just I'm big on the shot ski. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Happy <laughs> Halloween.